dawn breaks in the African bush, exhibiting the sights and sounds characteristic of death. An elephant bull, once regal and majestic, has succumbed to the harshness of life in the wild. The presence of vultures, along with the fetid smell of decomposition, alert lions to a freely available meal. Though apex predators by trade, lions will seldom let up the opportunity to scavenge. The elephant's skin can be up to 2.5 centimeters thick in places. This makes feeding a difficult affair for the lionesses, coupled with the fact that the dominant male from the pride approaches. The females, showing their respect for the dominant male, make way for him. The lions focus their feeding attention on the softer, tender areas, such as around the trunk, rear and mouth of the elephant. Minutes give way to hours, hours give way to days, and the systematic cycle of decomposition continues. The lions, having fed to capacity, give way to the next prolific players in the pantomime of life. Vultures and spotted hyenas are a combination most associated with death and decomposition. Robust and cunning, hyenas are exceptionally dynamic carnivores with an arsenal of anatomical tools that perfectly suit the animal scavenger lifestyle. All this being said, the hyenas still approach the carcass cautiously as the scent of lion still hangs in the air. The hyenas lose their nerve, slipping away with a small prize. The vulture, of which eight species are recognized in South Africa, are equally successful scavenger species. Vultures have elongated necks that enable them to embed their razor-sharp beaks deep within the cavern of a decomposing carcass. The hyenas after some time, build up their courage once more and return to the carcass to feed for the rest of the evening. The combined efforts of both of Africa's top scavengers ensures that little to nothing goes to waste in the African bush. However, all is not fair in love and war, and members of the same team can at some times become fierce competitors. Here we see an altercation between two hyenas of the same clan, with the dominant female exerting her stature on the more subordinate male.
order is now restored within the ranks of the clan. Invertebrate species and microbial organisms break down the remainder of the carcass, contributing to the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium content of the soil, and as such ensuring the completion of the circle of life. This constant balance between life and death adds to the beauty and complexity of life in the African bush. Although it may seem brutal, the death of an animal gives life to a number of others. For one to live, another must die, ultimately ensuring the continuation of life. A world that we are beyond lucky to merely experience.